thoughts. Uh, just bitterly disappointed with uh, the scoreboard. But look, we stayed in it. We, uh, you know, I thought we again. I thought we fought pretty hard for for what we needed to get onto the onto the scoreboard. Um, but I think at times we we're probably the architect of our our own demise. If you don't nail things in uh, in the in the top 22 when you get opportunities, and to go in there at five or six entry points in the first half and come away with with nothing, you know, I think that really hurt us because they went back to back. I think at least twice, 80 metres up the field. Uh, ended up with points, so, um, but you know, couldn't fault the endeavour, couldn't uh, fault our intent, um, but I think some execution there, um, you know, just left, left ourselves too big a mountain to climb uh, in the end, but um, you know, really pleased with the effort and the attitude of the players uh, was excellent. Um, yeah, look, hard to say, hard to say. Um, you know, we've still got a few more to come back in there, so you know, once once they continue, but we're pretty late in the season for that to be uh, uh, happening, to be honest. From the box, what did you see? It seemed like it was going to be about 45, 50 minutes on, pretty much the 75 minutes. Yeah, yeah. What did you think was the plus for the first half and then the last five minutes? Um, well, I think the, the that period you're talking about from you know, from 40 probably. I think we, you know, we started off really well. Hodgie got three points early on. I think we probably backed ourselves a little bit, as you can imagine. Uh, you know, the last couple of weeks have hurt us, and and uh, you know they, they take a bit to get over. So I think we probably just fought and competed in the first half. And I think you know, the kick just before half time to go to 17-9. I think that third try really hurt us. But uh, to go to 17-9 at the break really gave us something to hang on to. And um, you know, I think we probably just backed ourselves a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we're not thinking too far about next year. I can tell you we're just uh, probably a week to week proposition at this stage. So, um, you know, that's the nature of where we're at, and you know, we, we'll, we'll take some, we'll take some some positive, you know, uh, attitudinal and mindset. Uh, attributes out of that, um, but uh, you know I think our biggest learning will again be, you know, some of those uh, skill errors that are letting us down at crucial times. You know, we're here to win games. You know, competing and doing that th those things, and you know it's easy to after a couple of bad losses to come back up. But you know, we, we were here to get a result, and you know, full credit to them when, when they needed their their key players to really control things and and uh, keep a level head. You can you can see what uh, they are able to do. Please. Um, <clears throat> I don't actually remember too much of it, to be honest. I got winded and I was out of the play for a couple of minutes there. So um, I think it was a bit sort of back and forth most of the last 10 minutes, uh, to be honest. But as Dump said, I think we uh, we wanted to back ourselves and not really go into our shell. Into our shell. And I think uh, the chances that we did get, we tried to play down their end. But obviously, um, a few skill areas probably cost us and, and let them get a bit of momentum uh, down into our half and obviously finished off with a try. So it's disappointing. But... I think the game, like we probably should have done more before that point. Um, we can't really look too much at the last five minutes. I'd, in an ideal world, we want to be up sort of by more than like five ten with with five to go. So. Um, from McMahon, again, have you had a good second half? Yeah, it was great. You know, and Sean's a really important important player for us, and that that's based off you know what he brings to the game, both. As we talked about with effort, but certain attitude and just you know a real fierce competitor. So to have him back out there just amongst the group during training, get 40 minutes a night. He was absolutely uh, busted the last seven or eight minutes. But you know to get through 40 minutes after being out for you know seven or eight months or seven months is a fair effort. So to have, have him back in the mix and you know he'll he'll continue to you know give the group a lot of confidence as well. Just him being out there and you know we said we've got a couple more to come back 
um, in the next two weeks. But uh, great to see, you know, any any player like Sean you want to see back on the pitch. Yeah, it was pretty horrible tonight, to be honest, and uh, and uh, and hurt us. On that, they had one try directly off that mm. Provenzi. Mm. You got to marry it. You don't really have so good support from that guy in particular, or how, how do you address that? Yeah, we just we just need to give him the confidence to make sure he backs himself. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it can be when the game gets down to, to key moments, and you're a backfield player. You know, you're back there by yourself, you're getting balls in, you're looking up, you, you know, you, you need some communication as well. And uh, as I said, I think Marika's progress in the last uh, <coughs> period of time has been excellent, especially with those off the ball and decision making attributes of, uh, of what he does. But, um, you know, I'm sure if he had the opportunity, he'd take that back and back himself. You know, I think if he got around Nick Frisby there, I think it was probably on the first post, that he probably had another 30, 40 metres of open space to go. And, and that's what we want the players to do. And, you know, as we said, and uh, as I alluded to before, you know, once you continue to back yourself, um, you know, that's what that's what we need to do. And you know, Marika, will, you know, I thought he did a really good job there tonight. He backed himself at you know every opportunity. I'm sure if he had that opportunity, he's been screaming for ball for the last uh, month, to be honest. And he got a free one there, and he kicked it away. So, but um, that's okay. You know, we'll get better. I uh, got a bit of an ankle, and then a, bit, a little bit of a shoulder there. So. He seems to be seems to be okay. He just got twisted uh, on that line break before he passed to Will Miller there. So, but he, he seems to be okay in the sheets. Is there a chance to make yeah, Cobb was a really strong chance. He was probably pretty close tonight, to be honest. We, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, gave him the opportunity to warm up last week uh, to get through, and he probably went back to where he was. Uh, with it, and he, he tried everything this week to get up. And again, he wasn't—he wasn't, he wasn't um, you know, with Sean coming back in off the bench uh, this week, he probably offset that. And you know, we expect the hobby to be fit next week. And with Will, with Will Miller, yep. uh, the past few games, what yep. do you make of what they've offered coming into the pro league preparation? Oh, they're both really impressive young guys. Um, you know. N not only uh, you know humble and hard working and really respectful uh, you know to come in a professional environment but they've been really confident about what they've done too you know they've they've uh, come through there at north uh, with Simon Cron there they've obviously been really well coached and well managed obviously from good families as well um, but they've come in and worked really hard um, you know they're just eager to learn and eager to to really rip in and compete they're really low maintenance <coughs> do all their work turn up Super pros, so um, you know we've been really, really lucky, and uh, you know Baden Stevens has done a great job to to get those those two in, and you know who knows what else is out there, but you know we've been really impressed with them as uh, as young men, and also um, what they've contributed to the to the program as well. Is Baden a move in the direction that he's going to get on the Yeah. Yeah. Well, you look at. You know, yeah, look, that's a, that's a point. Or you look at it the other way, and hopefully it drives more competition. Uh, you know, within whatever they come up with, uh, whenever they come up with it, um, you know, that's going to continue to drive competition. That's really what we want to to see happen, and uh, an opportunity for for all players, not those that are earmarked at a really early age, but those that uh, you know probably don't get that exposure at uh, you know 15 to maybe 19 20 but you know those who are still in the game and still playing and still get the opportunity that are good enough to play uh, super rugby last year that we've got a record number of quality that have been mm -hmm. in. do you think that's an asset in the game that needs yeah absolutely no doubt that's 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 a proven fact. Um, you know, individuals can still do all their things, but you know, sometimes you suffer at the fate of the the fate <coughs> of the team and their performances, and you know what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. But you know, I'm sure the selectors and what they're looking for, you know, will continue to look outside that and look at what what guys can bring. But you know, it's hard not to. You know, when you when you're being in those positions and picking sides, it's. Uh, you know, sometimes you can be elevated uh, through the form of a team or, or what the side is producing and 
other times you can lose out because of that. So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. He'll be fine. If you, if you reset from here, what, what's the plan for the rest of the year? What are the plans for the plan? No, we, uh, we've, you know, to be honest, we probably reset every week. But, um, yeah, look, we've got, we got still plenty to go and we've got a lot of pride within the group. And as I said, you know, there's been, you know, massive distractions down, down here over the last period of time. And as I said during the week, you know, you can really probably start to feel as a, as a few stories uh, filter out, not directly to me, but you hear stories about staff and players and uh, where they're at and what they're, what they're trying to balance and where they need to go to. Um, you, know, you, you, you know, the magnitude uh, of where things are at, you know, is, is hitting home as each week uh, transpires, um, you know, but, uh, you know, the playing group, you know, we're well led and they're, they're working really hard to make sure that uh, we keep everything together and keep, keep competing like we did tonight.